Hey friends, Alan here. Studio One 5.5 adds this great strumming feature that lets you improve your MIDI guitar game. In this short video I want to show you a tip that I picked up from Dom Sigalas on how to make fake guitar strumming a little more realistic. Let's see a quick demo of a fake guitar with the straight chords that I have. First thing first, let's quickly recap how you convert your block chords into strums in Studio One 5.5 or later. Basically, you select your chords and then you pick up the note that you want to move the most and you start dragging it. And this is important you start dragging it first and then you hold Ctrl Alt on Windows or Command and Option on a Mac and it turns into strum and then you release and you have your strums here so let's do the same but in the opposite direction for these other chords okay let's see what we have here now So far so good, but here is the tip I picked up from Dom among uh, a lot of other great tips about improving the sound of MIDI guitars and I totally ignore the other ones here, but I'll leave a link in, to his video in the description below and you can learn a lot of more great stuff about uh, improving your guitar game. So apparently when a real guitarist plays drummed chords, they tend to end the strum on the beat not start like we have here in, in this demo and when and what happens when you try to convert your straight chords into strum chords. So let's see how things change if we move our notes to end on the beat instead of starting on the beat. And I'm moving this uh, smaller chord separately because we strum them differently so they will not end up on the same place if we've moved all, everything together. So let's see what we have here now. Better, I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So this adds a bit of a challenge though. If you try to loop the section, uh, it, it turns out that that you know the first chord is out of bounds of the loop, so you get this instead of the first chord. So you can work around this by either just bouncing this part, or you can transform the whole track by going to transform to audio track. And this way you have audio instead of MIDI, and so, so this place will play just as it should. I hope you found this tip useful. If you did, please like this video and consider subscribing for this channel, so I'm motivated to create more tips like this in the future. Thank you and see you in the next time.